there is a new movie you might want to add to your watch list. Angel Studios presents Cabrini. It's a drama biography following an Italian immigrant woman in the slums of New York. Now the movie is in theaters now, and WFM News 2's Manning Franks wanted to see if it's News 2 approved. Mother Cabrini, a canonized saint in Catholicism known for her commitment to helping the poor, the sick, the needy, the orphaned, and the immigrant. She was all around a woman who put others before herself. Although people outside of Catholicism, such as myself, may not be aware of her inspirational tale as she fought a world that looked down on her. In the new movie titled Cabrini, we are given a condensed encapsulation of her life to admittedly mixed results. In America, the greatest nation on earth, rats have it better than the children of five points. It's not safe, not for you. Be careful. This place will eat your life. <laughs> Based upon the first American saint, Cabrini follows the nun, Francesca Cabrini, as she immigrates from Italy to New York City in 1989. I should not do that. Her mission, ordained from God and tentatively approved by the Pope, is to serve the disenfranchised of the city. Yet when the institutions in place block her every move, it will take all her strength and prayers to achieve the impossible. Like other biopics, Cabrini unfortunately falls victim to the same tired tropes of deep narrative repetition and also a shallow story at times that is found within the crowded field of inspirational drama. The plot hobbles around from one event to another, often rushing without taking a needed breath to explore the layers present in its immigrant story. With an overly bloated runtime, the movie Cabrini merely scratches the surface of who the woman Cabrini was, although it does give viewers a true story of resilience. Cabrini can come across as trite to some who may watch it, but for those looking for a earnest message of love, devotion, and empowerment, well, they're in good hands. The film shines the brightest when its star, Cristina Delana, is front and center. She carries the emotional weight of the film and, in my mind, gives one of the best female lead performances of 2024 so far. She is elevated in part with the stunning direction from Alejandro Monteverde. The director gives Cabrini a striking style that polishes the film from beginning to end, keeping the film very visually interesting. We can serve our weakness or we can serve our purpose, not both. Mother Cabrini says that at the beginning of the film to Pope Leo XIII, and while I agree with what she is saying, that weakness on a deeper level is never fully explored for her character to truly shine in the film, just right there out of reach. But in terms of purpose and its subsequent impact, well, that part shines brightly. And for all those who witness her inspirational tale, they will definitely take something from that. For that, I'm giving Cabrini a For You to Decide. You can see it only in theaters.